At this point, uh, uh, Glenn begins like stripping off his clothes, complaining about how hot it is in here. And uh, the Freddy. How the air conditioning? <laughs> the Freddy Gardeners just gape at him as he pretty much strips down to his underwear and his, his shoes, and he's hopping around trying to get one of his shoes off. And he goes, Oh, excuse me. And then you're back to normal. So. Uh, okay, then, Glenn. What's wrong with you people? Everything. Oh. Well, he's Freddy for one thing, says one of the Freddy Garters. <laughs> I'm not Joshua McKay. Oh, is it Freddy oh. or is it Old Man Freddy? That's Old Man Freddy. Yeah. yeah, they all look at the hook and they fucking suspect deeply, deeply, deeply. <laughs> They're pretty much just like... They've been told to treat the old man as they would Freddy, and plus you seem to answer to Freddy. So between all these things, even the dumbest of guards is pretty convinced that you're Freddy. That's fine. Because you're not good at keeping up subterfuge. Uh, yeah. I wasn't trying to anyway. Are, you, right. are you allowed to get a prosthetic hand? No. Just a chunk of wood to hit people with? I can get a chunk of wood, but not one that looks like a hand. Yeah. I was considering getting a little spade, like the ones you get on the beach, like little kids. You should get a pincer. Oh, a pincer. One of the Freddy Garters goes, a spatula! And there's a like... Mmm, <laughs> that's a good idea, actually. He looks rather pleased with himself. All right, well, um... The Freddy Garters are pretty much listening in on everything you guys say. Katar Ballar's desk is currently empty as he's off doing whatever the fuck Katar Ballar does. And uh, it looks like it's just you and the four Freddy Garters in this room at this point. But just be aware, you, you're sure, oh, nope, the door just burst open. The rhino head guards come in, sees you guys. You're not Joshua McKay. And then they let you guys go and go back out into the hallway. Right, well, um, Never gets old, you think. Glenn, Dana, I believe we have a bit of a mission to do, so... Yeah. Where, would you go, where would you like to go and discuss the final details? Um, Before we just set out, because we need to make a supply drop first. We can go to the bomb shelter to talk. Sure. The Freddy Garters uh, follow you guys closely out to the bomb shelter, although they don't come in the bomb shelter, but they are right outside keeping an eye on the uh, exit and the roof to make sure that Freddy doesn't somehow scale up there and squeeze out between the weak-ass roof and the, the stone lip of the round building, which now that you think about it's kind of like a barrel of a gun pointing toward uh god with a shitty roof ready to shoot it at him <laughs> okay um right so uh then um do you know what we're going to be doing i'm assuming you do but i don't know unfortunately i pulled a yin yang so uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> right oh, she, she immediately throws your plans into confusion ha -ha. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was so sweet thinking that we were able to plan something um no trading everyone discards all of their cards and refills their hand oh. <laughs> all right. well i had one card anyway that's some good shit. And um, yes, I did read um, the message about um, lots of nice juicy ideas. I'm very excited to try to use the spaceship before it disappears or explodes. Wonderful, wonderful. Did you have any, um, any of your own concerns and or ideas about how um, you do it? Um, a whole lot of luck. Is it under guard or something like that? Do we know anymore? We paid off people's, um, like warrants, I guess. Um, I, I don't know. I've not been there. They probably, 
Uh, it was you were one of them. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think. Um, so you know, unless if anybody else did anything fishy around it. Um, well, I, as I said, I haven't been there since, like, the start of quote unquote the season. Mm-hmm. So, unless someone else has been there in my time, I don't know. Nope. Cut to shows, shows several other PCs all shape shifting into Freddy. Take <laughs> hooks on. Let's go have some fun. Okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> right. Well, the first thing we need to do then is, I don't know about you guys, but I have a few magical items that I need to drop off in storage before we leave because that's an anti magic zone. So, oh. so if you have anything, you need to drop it off as well. Um, I was thinking we should drop items here. In the embassy? Yeah, because we might be gone for a few days anyway, so it's not like we're going to be coming back and forth a lot. In the embassy or in your easier to access bank vault? Mm. What, in this thing? Hmm. Don't you have they a have... Um, uh, storage lamp? Or is uh, it I have one. I have one, but it's. Uh, Money for money, it's a huge one. I can rent a bigger one. Yeah. Which I might actually have to do anyway, so. Well, you, you guys, I, I mentioned that because you haven't seen Katar around and you don't know where he is. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to go and get a bigger storage unit anyway. Do you guys have money here? Or your own storage units, or do you just want to get one? <laughs> Again, I leave, <laughs> I leave all the dynamite inside that you want. I have one dollar. Okay. Well, why don't we just leave stuff in the embassy storage? Well, we don't know where Kato is. Oh. Might be busy doing stuff. Did we look for him? No. <laughs> you uh carry around swords in Guri? Uh, they might look at you a bit funny. Because swords aren't really a um, weapon that they commonly use. Blasters and stuff is fine. But swords, they uh, might be like, what the hell is that guy doing with the sword? They're not going to, like, arrest you or anything? I don't think they'll arrest you, but they just might be a bit, hmm? And then, fuck off. Okay. But they might, I don't know, they might ask you, hey, why do you have a sword? Do you have a license to have a reason to have a sword? I don't know. <sighs> Are you a bounty hunter? I mean, didn't you buy like 2,000 million licenses for everything? No, I talked about doing that, but oh. it was too much. Oh, okay. Well, I, I really hope we don't need a sword. <laughs> if you need a sword in Guri, chances are things are not going well for you. Yeah, so I suggest we either go to the bank, I'll, I'll upgrade my storage okay. unit, or we can go find Katar and see if we can. I look around for Katar. Yeah. All right, you guys begin wandering around the embassy and stuff. I'll ask people for... have this, you know, oh. do they know what it is? Uh, let's see, who's doing the primary research? Who's supporting? This is a kind of research. I guess I'll do it in silence. Mm-hmm. Support. Yeah. I totally support you. Um, I will support you by going up and down the halls going, Katar! <laughs> Katar! Sure. Um, here, Katar, Katar, Katar. Research. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, you discover eventually that, uh, he had... That's he... a clip, by the way. With a plus five, that's a crit. 
Uh, the plus five would go onto your skill, and that would make it. Oh yeah, that would make it a crit. Well done, math for the win. Yes, you end up finding like one of his assistants. You didn't know he had assistants. Guess what he does? And his assistant's like, yeah, he's doing very private time right now uh, where he's working on some uh, things that McKay taught him. And he has commanded that anybody who bothers him at this time until he is done, it should be in there a couple hours until he's done, is thrown into the pit of despair. <laughs> of course. We, we, we won't bother him. It's up to you, he says. The no, pit no. of despair is going to be the most horrible pit ever in fact you have to start by digging it we have shovels ready for the first people in it and eventually we'll get one dug out that's okay thank you for the information are you sure you don't want to help us dig the pit of despair yes, it seems I'm right sure. up your alley freddy i mean I, freddy. I, I, if you need my help i'll help you but not for myself mm -hmm. He looks at you suspiciously. Everybody looks at you suspiciously. Gosh, you wish you could get rid of this intense suspicion they have of you. If only there was some way to find out how to do that. Um, I really wander off for a bit and I turn to the other two and say, we can go ask Foxy. She's probably in the kitchen. She has access to the vault. Then we can drop off the stuff. We definitely don't want to bother Elwyn. He's probably busy. That's why he's delegated the stuff to Kato and Foxy. Sound good, though? Sounds good. You guys eventually discover that Foxy is currently with Elwyn as he is working on training her in how to uh, run this place because he wants to get a different job. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm not gonna bother her. Okay, plan B is we'll I'm going to the bank and I'll upgrade my storage unit. Cut to it shows you guys like going out of the gates and the Freddy watchers just watch until you disappear and they go oh, back to the game. And uh, the guards grab you and tell you that you're not Joshua McKay every fucking time. And eventually you guys wander into town. And meanwhile, it shows Owen. He's like, well. Wow. Katar, are you done with your special time? Katar is like, yes, I am. And I was not disturbed. Oh, yes. Let us all hang out together and bash on a who might consider disturbing us. Anyway, and you guys go down to the bank. And, um, yeah. Uh, it was $10 for the standard one. How much would it be for the big one per season? How big is the big one? How big do you want? They have a body size one you can get. Uh, good. Enough for my armor, my cloak, and their shit as well. So body two size. Body, two it. Back. Okay. So I don't know. I was getting ready to get up and go try to reset it, but then it's like I was just teasing. I'm not gonna fuck with you much, and I'm like, I know you're totally going to. It's like, yeah. All right. So do they have um, a oh. body sized large storage or no? They can, they, the guy's like, we can rent you body size storage for a hundred per season, but you know, if you need two of them, that's fine. But you know, for 300, you can get your own, uh, uh, warehouse. $300 per season. Yeah. That's a bit much for me. I don't need that big. Um, warehouse Logan, sounds less secure than a vault. Yeah. Logan, will all of our shit fit in a body size? Um, uh, I don't know how much shit, uh, cause Scott's, well, Scott's a hoarder, so I don't know. Well, no, just magic items for now. I, I, so my armor, my cloak. And a body ring. size one, the shit you listed off before, easily. What they've got, I have no idea. They, they, like, what, what do you have? Scott normally carries a patsy pack with like banners and shit on the top, just in case he needs flags for some reason. Um, all I've got to store is the glasses yeah you can make that fit in there with your shit <laughs> wait don't you have um don't you have a cloak and a ring that we got from the janice mansion i thought those were immune to that stuff i don't want to risk it so i'm putting mine in there they're still considered magical so do you want to risk it Really I, thought the I thought the cloak was like a part of me. 
No, it's just a quote that you put on. Huh. Yeah. Same Weird. with the ring. Unless it's changed. Logan, has it changed? You have no idea. You, uh, you go test shit. I haven't well, changed I mean, anything. It... No, I mean, he's saying that cloak is like, attached to it or something. <laughs> or is it is it removable is what we're asking. Oh, uh, you can take it off. You can put it on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know. I didn't think I needed to be wearing it. It's just You're not sure. The new power. Freddy has caused doubt in your mind. If only yeah, there was some way to it. test it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, while we while we goofy people fiddling with the cloaks, let me see if I can detect plant magic on them. Does that will at least tell us something? No. You suck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see how uh, uh, inspirational I am to Freddy. Uh, and then you see the rings as well. No, don't you? You're horrible at this. Man, there might be magic. I don't know. I'm not listening. I'm playing my own I'm here. Let me check them out. Oh. Yes. Hey. Guess what? <laughs> yes, I'm magic. Yeah. How about the other one? Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll put the cloak and the ring in there, too. Okay. All right. I better add mine in there, too, then. All this shit easily fits <laughs> into one of the things. I mean... Although, given this track record, I'd probably rent their own pot, maybe at a different bank. You know, I'm just saying that, you know, he stores fucking dynamite until it sweats itself to death. Come on. Yeah, I'm not going to take this for the whole season. Uh -huh. Pretty sure it was only in there for a few weeks. A few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. <laughs> yeah. Alright, anyway, okay. Alright, uh, so how much is that? Uh, how much money is that? Body size, uh, yeah. well, they don't they don't really allow upgrades, so you've still got your small personal yeah, okay. one. Okay, so then how much and is the new one? You've got, uh, for a hundred, hundred dollars, so five gold pieces. Okay, I'll give them five gold then. Okay. Yeah, they're totally happy. Thank you for being our customer here at the, whatever bank it is. <laughs> mm. Okay. We appreciate that. Uh, I, I found my note. The ring it told us was no drop jewelry. Mm -hmm. so I also you can't put your ring in there because it won't come off. Good point. Thank you. Oh. Big card, Scott. <laughs> Oh, okay. We're back on. <laughs> so by that logic, we can't lose it then. Surely. I didn't say that. I said no drop. <laughs> well, if we lose it, that would kind of suck. I don't. I do. don't argue that it would kind of suck. I'm just saying, you know. So yeah. even if we tried to pull it off, it's not going to come off. It's no drop. Well, we're not dropping it. We're removing it. It's no drop. You haven't played enough MMOs. No, I can't. Don't. Uh, it can't disappear if it's no drop. It could. It could still be destroyed. To be fair, it's just no drop while you've got it. I don't see any way around this. If we need to go to that zone, you know, it's fine. All right. Uh, let's. Um... Let's go to that uh, bar across the street. Get a table in the corner and talk. Give me rather than in the bank. No problem. Sheila, give me a luck roll. I'm sick of Freddy's fucking luck. <laughs> um. There we go. Hot we damn! Last to... corner tables. You notice the other three corner tables are each inhabited by a mysterious individual who's wearing a cloak <laughs> and not talking to anybody. Would we be able to uh, get our stuff out if we come back without you? Uh, do you 
want me to put one of your names on it. That'd be nice. <laughs> You're beginning to have flashbacks, buddy. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a benevolent shareholder. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll put. Wait, do you have IDs for this, though? Mm. They did look at Freddy's IDs and shit Maybe. before letting him in. We had ideas for Gurry. So for this, this can. Oh, for Beeskin? Uh, I looked through my wallet. <laughs> nope. Cool. Well, I'll probably help you there, can I? Hmm. Just make sure that you <coughs> come and get it out before. When that's them. the last you've ever seen of your yeah. shit. <laughs> okay. All right, so we go to the bar to sit down, all the drinks. No problem. Yeah, they bring over drinks, mark off a dollar you've got four drinks at the table because so like, like, 25 cents dollar. each with his last <laughs> dollar that's cold mm -hmm. i paid the story yeah, fine yeah. all right no. so no tip the guy takes the last the fourth drink and just walks off <clears throat> okay so the plan is obviously we'll go there check out the ship see if it's still okay uh, then we'll need to. Uh, well, I don't. I don't need to go over everything we discussed this earlier. Is there anything else that you think we should do before we leave, or do we just want to go there right now? Um, we'll need to put bottle caps all over our clothes for cameras. I have my own, so if you need bottle caps, sure. <laughs> Got my cameras in here somewhere. I look to dry backpack. <laughs> you guys hold on to his feet while he's crawling through it, looking for shit. It's down here somewhere. God damn, why does everything go to the bottom? It's not even possible for everything to go to the bottom, etc. <laughs> How could yeah. everything literally be on the bottom? You hear? Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, other than that, what can go wrong? Hmm. Um, my biggest concern is money. Because we're gonna need, for various reasons, like parking, um, building permits for the barber shop, et cetera, et cetera. Do we have enough? And by um, way, I mean, do you have it? My credit card's got 1380. Mine's about the same. Dana? I'm looking through that wallet again. That wallet okay. must be about as big as. A Glenn sack. Whoa. Hmm? Ooh. That's a big sack. Mm. Let's see. Boop, 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 boop. Um, uh, what were we thinking of doing with the? Where did you want to put the Glens? Uh, not Glens. Clems. <laughs> Uh, all on your rock. So the plan is to basically go to Gooey, um, figure out what the next best rock would be for us to go to. Uh, probably go there first to check it out. You know, have a look ourselves. If it seems okay, we'll need to secure a plot of land. Like, lease a plot of land to have permission to build a bomb shop because i really doubt they'll just let us build it like we just um, arrived and start building should uh talk to the builders here and see if they'd even be willing to go there and build for us yeah that was the other thing we needed to do as well as last time if they'd be willing to i mean it is in their best interest after all well it's in their interest for another zone that they can access. So, 
I got salami here, but you probably go talk to them about it. Um, so yeah, uh, talk to the builders and then we'll go to Guri and check it out. Quick, quick note, just for your guys bookkeeping and stuff. Uh, yeah. The cloaks themselves are non-magical. The effects sunk into you guys. That's what I was saying. I know, oh. but I wanted to let you know. I'm, I'm decided not to play coy with it, despite your guys, uh, despite you guys getting told shitty information by Freddie and then believing it for reasons I can't figure out. I didn't know. I thought you had to wear the cloak. See. <laughs> okay. So we don't actually need the cloak then. They're cool looking. I mean, I want to keep it. I like it. Yeah, a memento. Okay. And the rings are no drop. So you have no idea what's going to happen if it, if that will blow up the effects on you or the rings or anything like that when you go to Gary. You have no yeah, idea really because, you know. know. Kind of hard to really test that. Well, it's easy to test it. It's hard to, you know, not get angry if it blows up. That's yeah, the hard yeah. part. Yeah. All right, so let's go talk to the builders then. Um, Logan, uh, since I've already dealt with them once i believe um uh i believe his name is herbert or something along the lines he helped us build the repair the, the village dome those builders i'm assuming they also worked on the clans in the embassy oh those guys yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay you guys go over and uh you go looking for them let me see where they're at real quick because they are in high demand I thought you guys were going somewhere entirely different. This is why planning is hard. Let's see. NPC. Well, we need builders. We need awesome, you know. Need builders. What? Did you think we were going to build a shop on our own? Right. Um, I have no idea what you're up to. Okay. Uh, you go around asking for Herbert, and eventually uh, you, uh, you get directed to Bert. The contractor who just glares at you and he goes, Bert, Bert, no her, just Bert, Bert, say, hello, Bert. say it, that's right, yes, hello, Bert, say my name, Bert, he just nods, he goes, what do you need? Um, we are going to be relocating the barbershop in Guri over to a different rock because the one that's there currently is going to be sinking into the sun soon. So we're going to be relocating it. Have you already got the new rock picked out? No, we're going to be doing that. But before we leave, we wanted to ask you if you and your men would be willing to help us build a barbershop on the new rock. <sighs> We'll pay for the materials. We'll I'd rather I'd things. rather make a, a one you could put together and take there yourself because that's a dangerous place. They haven't even got a total planet there. Do you know how we can do that? Yeah, uh, if you want to give me, uh, I don't know, fifty gold, we'll start work on one. More gold to follow, and more after that. But yeah, fifty gold will get us started. We can try to make one that you can pretty much. Uh, uh, assemble and stuff. We'll make the directions in Swedish. That way it works better. <laughs> it costs 12 gold to make a cleanse. Hey, no problem. I mean, you know, we, we're not going to make one on Guri rocks for 12 gold, but if you want, if you can find a cheaper cleanse, go build one. Sure, go get it. You want you want something new. You want us to make a put together yourself clown. Do you take it costs twelve gold if you make a clown? Do you do you take Boris money? No, I don't take Boris. I want gold. Solid gold. Solid gold. Mm. I was able to exchange currency with Elwyn before. They have dealings and various zones i mean it will take us a while to make a put together uh uh barbershop but like i said you give me 50 gold we'll at least get started um 
Will we be able to carry it through a, a Clems? Clems? No. No, too big. How would we get there? That's your problem. Uh, we'll make it so it can fit in a standard wagon. Have okay, to load it in a wagon and shadow walk it there. That's doable. He just shrugs like, I don't know or care how you get it there. He's like, I'll make it fit in a wagon. That, the 50 gold is for research, development, construction, plus we're going to want more gold later. How much? Depends on how, how much of a pain in the ass it is and how, much, and how quickly it pays. And how quickly you need it. And how quickly, you know, <laughs> we can get the stuff. And how quickly we can get all the people back because they're out drinking from the last job we did. And how quickly we can, uh, you know, come up with a new kind of barber shop. And we are not guaranteeing it will actually work. Mm. But we'll give you all the pieces. And directions in Swedish. If you want, we can translate them into Chinese and then back into English. What? I ask Freddy Mm -hmm. if uh, you think it'll work if we put it together differently. Well, we're not really putting it together differently. It's still going to be a barbershop. It's still going to have the same dimensions, the same materials and all that. It'll just be... The guy in the background goes... See, he knows what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, we're, we're going to try to make it easier to put together because we know you're incompetent. We'll be like gluing stuff on instead of hammering it. I don't know. Yeah. You Might know, mess with something. Yeah, if, if we can do this correctly, the only tool you're going to need, we're going to make a weird bent piece of metal that has like six <laughs> sides to it. <laughs> Figure out what Clem is in Swedish so you can sell it at IKEA. We're going to make a new IKEA, he says. Yes, we're going to flat pack everything. Make my own IKEA. Blackjack. Hookers. He goes. Thanks. I might have some <laughs> confused people looking for housewares. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like the housewares or a hooker or some blackjack <laughs> or maybe some uh, new curtains? <laughs> Would you? Could you build it in either Sherma or Boris? So that we can use a car to then shadow walk it out. We're going to be using a spaceship. Well, let me ask you a question. And the answer to my, the question you ask me will be the same answer that I'll give you. Have you fixed the clems yet? It's in the process of being fixed, yes. So I'm hearing a lot of no. It works right now. Yeah, you're not really reassuring me, and I don't trust you anyway. I can get you over there. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be dependent on you. If you get the clubs fixed, we'll fix, We'll make it in any zone that clubs normally delivers to. We'd be happy to make it in Shermer. Mm-hmm. Back in Shermer, uh, you know, it would cost you a lot more in Shermer than it would here because the materials and stuff cost a lot more there. But the amount of time it'll take to make it will go way down because we can use power tools and shit. Oh, I love some power tools. Get a big tool set. Have you pay for it? I mean, yeah, we can do that. But you got to actually fix Clems first. No, that's fucking conditional shit. I want it actually What's fixed. wrong with Clems? It's broken. <laughs> Sometimes people go in there and they fucking don't come back. We've heard reports of drowning. People go to the wrong place. Yeah, we kind of play some sort of Russian oh. roulette with it. I don't it know. It's in the process of being fixed. He makes a jerking I mean, off motion. I, I give Glenn the look. You give Clem the look? Or Glenn the look? 
Ah, it begins and looking at you like the kind of smoking, you know, the, the sultry, smoking eyes and flared nostrils look. It's in the process. See, I'm not believing him right now either. Tell you what, if if I send one of my guys through and shit, and you know, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna hold a hundred gold, and if he doesn't come back, then that goes to his family. That's how we're gonna play that game. Or if he or if he uh, comes back and he says, "I oh, went to the wrong place," then you'll get half your gold back and told to fuck off. We're not gonna do business with you anymore because you're a lying snake. How's that? How confident are you in this fixed thing, Freddy? Are you confident? Do you want to put up your hundred gold? Get out of my shop until you fixed. go fix shit. And we used it. Yeah, I don't trust this, Freddy. Like I said, if he wants to put up a hundred gold, I'll send one of my guys through. And if he comes back and tells me he went to the right place and all that, yeah, yeah, we'll we'll go to Shermer. But otherwise. See, you know, you know how he's hesitating? That's because he knows he is lying to me. And I know he's lying to me. It's not bad, so I don't have that. Snake. Come, come talk to me, Freddy. I won't have a good He says, don't come back for a while to my shop. You're obviously just wanting to get my men killed, and we're not going to have that. Why are you winking at me? <laughs> we fixed the clums. We did, but this this time continuum hasn't righted itself. What does that mean? It means more. It needs to happen again before it fixes itself completely. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, I have no idea how the word is working. Um, Does not everyone have friendship rings? Yes, not everyone has friendship rings. Right, but we all do. Yes, we do. So, but... in our timey wimey wibbly wobbly world, Clums is fine. No, uh, essentially, okay. uh, just so you guys know, you got rid of one of your results from going through Clums. You guys will never just the pe like. Let me see how to phrase it out of game. Anytime there's a majority of ring wearers who uh, are going through clams, even if they're with a non-ring wearer, it's still a random roll, but you guys will never get the underwater clams because for you guys, the underwater clams is gone. So it's still random. Can, it's, just, okay. it's still random. Yeah, but it, it's it, it lacks the sudden the NPCs. Yeah, it's yeah. totally random for those guys. everyone and us, yeah. Yeah. Right. We just don't uh, end up underwater. I was... Yeah, you guys are not going to drown. So yeah. you are way ahead of everybody else who hasn't done HH3 yet. Yeah. But even even stating that, it's not fixed. Yeah, it's they not. Could, they, all these guys could end up trapped in the village or trapped yeah. in some other place that you've never even been to or whatever. Yeah. Oh, and so that's not an option. <sighs> Okay. Ooh. Let's move forward regardless. Yeah. Take a card, Sheila. I like your spunk. Uh, so no. we have to. Okay. They're, they're gonna have to build it here, and they're gonna have to. <sighs> no. Well, you like wanted a retainer and wanted assurances we can't give right now anyway, so we still have some to-do list to do without having to convince him of anything. We want to get a big ass vehicle, load. Yeah. Well, no, I guess that wouldn't work. You can't do the group shadow walk and the targeted shadow walk at the same time, can you? I don't have that ability yet. I don't even know if it exists. If it yeah. did, it would be off one of the branches that I've successfully developed and it's not there so maybe it's a work in progress not everything is logically placed yeah. yet 
wherever we'll be. I like that you hopefully you put the yet like a. Well, I, I wanted to give him some hope, but we both yeah. know that's a lie. It's at the bottom of the box. Um. So we can't take them anywhere. Well, no, they said they they, <laughs> they said they can build it. They the, can the portable one. build the IKEA version here. Yeah. They don't want to deliver. No, yeah, we'd we have to. Yeah. We'd have to do the targeted shadow walk. Which in this zone is going to be. I don't even know how we do it because we can only take three living people. And if we have a horse pulling the wagon, that's one living thing. So one one of us isn't gonna be able to go. Huh. So we would need to get a car or something and shadow walk it that way. There is a way actually already in the tree, but you haven't gotten to it because you didn't okay. care, so <sighs> Yeah, because they're not willing to uh, Let's just let's just get the barber pole and worry about rebuilding the clums later. You do realize we can't leave if we get the barber pole. What? How are we gonna leave? Take a card, Freddy. I was wondering if anybody would come up with that. No, I've, I've gone through all that. I have no idea what you get, what you went through. I'm not paying attention to your planning. I don't care about your planning. I care about what your objectives are, because then I, I can make sure to plan for those myself. So basically, we would... I suppose not everybody can tunnel through reality. Oh, true. Go, Scott! That's one, that's one way of doing it. Okay, but then how are we going to get back to Guri eventually? Without a bomb pole. Targeted shadow walk. What if the rocks disappeared? We had uh, until the end of the season. I'm pretty sure. No, we wouldn't have to get back until we're already on the different rock. So you want to move the ship to the new rock, take yeah. the bomb pole, and tunnel out. Um. Basically, could probably be more to it than that, but that's the short version. Hey, if it takes long enough, we won't even need to tunnel out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fall back on right. logic. All right, but okay, so let's say we go to Ruby, we find a nice, we do our research, we find a suitable rock. Hey, are you guys going to be jabbering all day or what? Yes. Yes. Can you do it somewhere else? I walk five meters in that direction. So we... I go outside. Louder. <laughs> Glenn wanders yeah. off outside. Thought we were already outside, but... No, you just no, backed away from these real. guys. They thought you were still talking about like what to do with them and they were waiting and then you guys were like... All this other subjects and da, 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 and they're like, now they're boring us to death, sir. Can we kill them? <laughs> All right. All right, we'll go outside. We, we might want to do the do it yourself, Clem, someday. Good. Figure out how much it'll actually cost. That'd be great. Yeah. See ya. Bye. They go back to what they were doing. Okay. Right, so Glenn, uh, the, uh, the biggest issue we have with moving the ship is we need to pay. He's over the, here. The Freddy cards come up. Hello. I just ignore them and continue. We need to pay for the parking and all the other crap. So we yep. need money. Money. So I suggest we maybe go there. We play, you know, hopscotch with Clem until we end up there. And see what's going on with the zone. Or do you have any other ideas? 
I bet we could make some money um, on passenger fares. Uh, huh. You want to do a taxi? It's got to be a lot of people looking to get off the rock. Yeah, but how did they get there in the first place? I'm assuming everyone has their own trip. Oh, no, you're probably right. They probably... Yeah. They got dropped off. Yeah. Fair. I just don't mind letting some... I like... I like that our motto... I like our motto would be, we've never done this before and we don't know where we're going. But we're cheap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the <mega> bus. You know? <laughs> like, get on this bus. You'll go to many cities. That's the... <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, like fly, flying Ryanair and saying that you're going to be landing close to London and it's a four day slog through hell <laughs> to get there. Yeah, yeah. Turbulence the entire time. Yeah. So <laughs> Being full off. Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I like it. I like it. Fine. Let me go to the bomb shelter real quick. I need to change back to normal. You might want to wait outside. This might be a bit unsettling. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, it's good go to in. know yourself. <laughs> he goes right. into the bomb shelter for some alone time. Let me see if I can change back to normal. The guards Comes are like, one of the guards is like, hey, have you got $2? Okay. I change back to normal. I can sell you an anti Freddy shiv. Is it magic? No. I made it. Is it just a picnic fork? It's, it's like a razor blade mounted into a, a fucking old toothbrush handle. Does it say anti Freddy on it? That costs extra, he says, after some quick thinking. Yeah, three. Uh, Freddy comes out after two minutes. Aha! Says everybody. I pull out my sword. From nowhere. Give me. I got a, my own shiv. Uh, give me a willpower roll. Mash the times five. Lowers better. Oh, that's a good point. Then you go back to the bank. I forgot. I got back into the bunker room. Yeah. You, you feel on. around desperately near <laughs> your butt. <and laughs> I'm go out of here somewhere. Is it willpower times There it is. Five? Hold on. Uh, let me see what the uh, magic is here. Pretty sure it's times one. Times one. Yeah, keep going, Scott. <laughs> I, I take mine out. Ching! The guy hides his shim immediately. Uh, I need to also take my trump out. Ah, uh, come on. And that's the last There thing. it is. Oh. Well done. Be sure, to take a, be sure to take a check in willpower there for Glenn. Freddy has gotten a fumble card, and uh, right, your trump goes away. That's fine. It's a spare one. That'll be okay. Cool. And everybody is at plus thirty percent to hit him. All four Freddy guards immediately take. Um, <laughs> Hi. <laughs> they all pimp slap Freddy. They don't know why. I'm in the bunker. How are they doing that? Oh, damn it! They look disappointed. Back. Two of them would have gotten a pimp slap you for one point each, and they are disappointed that you've stolen <laughs> that from them. Uh, now that I have everything out, I'm going to go back to the uh, bank real quick. Put my sword in there. He's escaping! One of the Fra anti freddy guards yells as Freddy makes a break for the gate. They I'm charge not, after him. I'm just him. walking out normally. They go, he's escaping! <laughs> and they make a break <laughs> Glenn, you might want to put your sword in there as well. And I stash it on the ship. Okay. I'm could you mind on this? You sword realize here? the sword that you've got has no scabbard. It's just the sword. Just like the movie <laughs> Highlander. Glenn sighs deeply as he's holding a naked blade. One of the guards comes up and goes, You are not Joshua McKay. And you shouldn't have an unsheathed sword. That's why I'm good. He says, I'm going to have to peace bond it. Where's the scabbard? Um. All right. He ties it to your the side of your head. 
done. He says, <laughs> you got all this stuff done. You're like, they're strong. I never said I was getting rid of the scabbard. Do you have it written down? Backpack. Do you have it written down? It is listed on my sheet. Uh, Mine's also listed, but yeah. Sword and sheath. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to put mine in the bank. Then I'll go and join the other two. All right. The anti Freddy guards glom back onto you when you come back in the gates. The guards grab you and look at you carefully and go, You're not Joshua McKay. And you rejoin the others. Okay. Are we ready to do a bit of research, fellas? Yeah. Play a bit of uh, medical around the class. Sure. Okay. I sheath the sword and put it on my waist. No problem. Uh, you get those guys to help you cut off the peace bonding as the uh, rhino-headed guard watches <laughs> super neutrally and shit. Even the guy with the shiv gets in on trying to help saw it off of you. Like, yeah. I get to use my shiv. All right. So, um, yeah, you got a cheat, and the guard's like, that's better. You're hey. not Joshua McKay. Neither okay. are you. He looks like he's having an existential crisis for a moment, and then he wanders <laughs> off. Are any of us Joshua McKay? The guards come and check. No. <laughs> they are not the fucking brightest people, but they will stand guard for hours at a time. Those are the type of guards you want. Yeah, you're, you're pretty sure none of them have the brains to try to betray anybody. <laughs> All right, let's go to the cleanse. You guys uh, go over to the big stone building, which is built surrounding the Clems. The anti-Freddy guards kind of nod at the large contingent of people who are prepared to scream and throw down their weapons and flee should anything bad come from the Clems. They look nervous. It's Freddy, they tell each other. And um, they're like, no fire. No fire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we need to use the cleanse, please. Okay, get ready. Open the, the gates! I run it. Go, 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 go! Glenn's already in. <laughs> get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going. Close the gates! <laughs> I'm like, Abby, what can I do you for? And it's creepy as shit watching the light just going away as he's standing there <laughs> saying that. Hot town is please. Where are you going back to? Booty. Them as well? Yes. Is anybody not wishing to sit in the barber chair? I sit. I sit. You feel the creepiest sensation of just somebody you can't see in complete darkness putting a hot towel over your face. <laughs> it's, it's just like, hey. Better than I'm shaving you in the dark. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have a good point. Uh, let's see. Uh, since you said it, Freddy, roll a d10. I think we need a four, but I can't remember what it was. Dun, 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 Damn it. Dun, 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 dun. It's not a five. That's a five. Okay, and right, you guys uh, have the hot towels taken off of you, and you instantly know that you're in Gothic. There's a lot of pretty thin people wandering around. I mean, they're fed better than they were. Some of them are still dressed kind of badly, but there is no obese people in this fucking city. Definitely not. Logan would have died here long ago. 